Hey there, Cancer. Welcome to your weekly reading for Cancer Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for the week of June 19th through the 25th. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. Let's see what is going on for the energy for the week ahead. The full card flew out over here. I don't think it came out on the video, but that flew out. You've got three major arcanas this week, so big changes for you in a very positive way. However, there is something about your demeanor, maybe defensiveness, juggling. I feel like if someone is stepping in to try to... I feel like you have a choice, a decision to make, either about uh, moving careers, locations, about a specific relationship, perhaps about your household, if you are thinking of moving or embarking on a new journey, whatever it is that you feel you may be a little bit at, at a crossroads at, I feel like you've got a few people um, giving you unsolicited advice, right? Uh, because the Seven of Wands energy is really coming in through. Oh, and before I forget, guys, make sure you give it a thumbs up, like, share, comment, and subscribe. And double tap that bell to get notified of all the readings because I will be going live on a weekly basis. And the sign with the most likes and the sign with the most views will get a bonus live reading. Okay, let me get that out of the way. And if you want to book a personal reading, the, the links are in the description box below. But yeah, I feel like you may have another, uh, I mean, you may have an air sign, a strong Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, you know, but, you know, very strong Libra and Gemini. You have the Magician and the Fool card here. So I do feel like if you are trying to embark on a new journey for yourself, maybe changing or shifting careers, uh, some of you, it may be traveling. I, I just feel like... There is this sense of unsolicited advice being thrown your way. Now, this, I know I didn't catch it on camera, but the Three of Pentacles did come out as I was saying that. So I'm going to put it right here in the middle because I feel like there is someone almost with this know-it-all type of vibe, like energy, like almost as though you don't know what you're doing. You're making a big mistake. I do feel... Like you've, and I keep hearing it, like I've seen what I have to see. I know what I have to know. I've experienced what I've had to experience. I'm ready to make these changes in my life. I'm ready to travel. I'm ready to move. I'm ready to, you know, shift careers, go back to school, uh, learn something new. I'm ready to teach. I'm ready to learn. Whatever it is, I just feel like even some of you may be going into some sort of apprenticeship journey. Uh, and it feels as though there is someone saying, yeah, that's not for you. You can't handle that. But like cancer, who are they <laughs> and why do they feel so entitled to, you know, what you do or what you decide in your life? Like, I don't know about that. I can understand that seven of wands and two of pentacles together. Like I'm weighing out my options. Nobody asked for your opinion. And even if you did cancer, even if you did, like you just happened to bring it up in conversation, like someone says what you've been up to and you're like, oh, you know, I've been thinking of doing this, this and that. And it's like all of a sudden they insert their opinion or their knowledge or I, I've been there, done that. Let me tell you, right? And really, I feel like, yeah, if you're going to talk about it, be open to, you know, other ideas, other options, allowing other people to shine a light on maybe what you aren't seeing. But I feel like this person is really like badgering you about like, no, man, like you just don't know. Right. <laughs> like, like almost as though like to make you feel like you're clueless. And it does feel as though they want to make you feel like this fool energy, right? But but the fool energy isn't bad. I mean, they may be inexperienced. They may be on the first step of their journey. They may just be very optimistic and hopeful. And geez, why are they raining on your parade? You know, like, like that Kendrick song, right? Like, bitch, don't kill my vibe. Like, I'm hearing it, right? And so you just, I just feel like the magician card here is stepping in with all the tools of the trade, all the knowledge, all the know-how, all the experience as above, so below. So like if spirit is guiding you on a specific path, I feel like you feel very, very secure about embarking on this journey. I don't feel like there's any fear about making these changes in your life. Uh, other than somebody talking fear into your plans, right? Tell me more about this new chapter for cancer. And I don't remember what last week's reading was about. Uh, I mean, need I say more? 
uh, some very amazing major arcanas for this week. So some of you may be, um, you know, signing up for school, leaving a job, starting a new job, maybe getting your resume out there. Maybe you're just, you know, going for applications. Maybe you're, you know, embarking on an interview, you know, interviews here and there. Uh, you may be receiving communication or a call about, um, you know, an, a, a position that you may be interested in or a home that you may be thinking of moving. Some of you will be relocating or you're thinking of relocating and it's going to look amazing because I do feel like uh, cancer, there's a, a handful of you that are just feeling stifled or they're like you're at the end of the road in terms of opportunity where you live. Maybe you live in a specific state where the housing market is outrageous or like no matter where you go in terms of career, you'll never make enough. You know, the, the opportunities for growth and expansion financially just are not available in your neck of the woods, but you're starting to do your research and you're seeing like maybe other states, other counties, other cities have more to offer. You know, maybe more salary, more an increase in growth and expansion in, in career with um, lower cost of living you know and it's like you win win right there so i do feel like you are on that journey and you are ready cancer you are ready I, again i keep hearing like if you haven't done the research you certainly are about to because the magician card they've got all the you know all the keys that they need moving forward they've got all the information so much so that they're ready to really not let anyone stand in their way and not allow them to bring in doubt because that two of pentacles is here in between the fool and the justice and it's like no i gotta do what's right by me by my family my partner my spouse my future my legacy my whatever it is that you are working towards you know like <clears throat> but i feel like this person wants to bring about like this emotional um worry uh, yeah you don't need that kind of negativity in your life <laughs> what's next for cancer look at that so if you're single i do feel like wherever it is so those of you that are looking to relocate whether like completely out of the state or city county doesn't matter but i feel like you're either relocating locations in terms of uh, you know, housing, where you're going to live, you're uprooting yourself and your family, whoever you're moving out, uh, or this is job and career. And your job and career may take you elsewhere where it will cause you to want to relocate. I am even hearing they will even give you like a relocation sign on bonus, right? They will help you move. Uh, but if you are single, I definitely feel like you're going to find your love, the love of your life at this new location. Uh, the other, if you are in a relationship or maybe you're not interested in love, you're not looking for love and it's, you know, not everyone is. I do feel as though this opportunity is going to create a lifestyle that you want and love and need and desire. I'm hearing and this is a place or a job offering that you are pursuing that just hits every nail on the head for you. It, it just feels like a huge up level in your life. And I'm here for it, Cancer. I am so here for it. Uh, this could also be like if you are married, have children, a family, and you're looking to look at that. Let's see what try to peek through. Look at that. I was just going to say, this is going to feel as though, you know, you're leaving stressors behind, worries, uh, instability. And it's like another opportunity for resurgence of love, for uh, rekindling a romantic connection. Finally, feeling like you both can breathe and feel at ease and not having uh, any type of financial obligations or worries or you know, feeling as though you can't make ends meet, you're living paycheck to paycheck, like relocating or this new job offer is definitely going to open up new possibilities for you. Anything else Cancer needs to know before I move on to the next deck? Temperance card. It's funny, I was shuffling and I didn't get it on camera and that card peeked through and it came out again. So take your time making this decision, weigh out your options. If you are in a partnership or you have children that you have to also consider in this process, you know, take your time. There's no need to rush, there's no need to worry. If this offer has an expiration date, 
Uh, ask as many questions as possible. Make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Uh, get clear about it. And I feel like if you are in a partnership, uh, definitely discuss what that looks like moving forward, making these changes for your partnership, your family, your whatever, wherever it is that you are in your life. I also feel that there are decisions that you're weighing out at this moment that may affect more than just you, right? We have the justice card balancing the scales, but the two of pentacles is also weighing out options. So it's like Pentacles meaning money, career, finance, financial stability, stability within the home. And then the temperance card is like, get very clear, get all the information that you need, talk to your partner, talk to all the people that this may affect, and make sure that the roads that are opening for you are is in fact what it is that you've been wanting because there are these emotional energies entangled with it and not in a negative way but i feel like if you have felt like you've shortchanged your own happiness and joy and path and success because you've put everyone else's needs and a you need for you know for whatever for you to help them for you to be there for them or for you to be there emotionally financially physically uh, i feel like you've shortchanged yourself and now it's like i'm thinking about me that's cancer i'm thinking about me and my future my legacy and what i want next for my life and that's the only person that i need to bounce ideas off unless you're in a partnership that's different or you have children right king of earth beautiful energy because that's king of pentacles right as i was saying if you're feeling a little unstable with um finances or money career stability in the home uh you have five which is the unity card that is the hierophant card six of earth that is six of pentacles which is another sign of the scales but again like i said money coming in being amazing right and you have the card of the death card which in this deck is called release okay so let me go through those really quickly and then i'm going to pull from the magical messages from the fairies so king of earth here generous professional responsible and practical a successful time confidently look at that confidently accept opportunities you're offered the Midas touch. I am telling you, I am telling you, Cancer, there's a lot of amazingness waiting for you when you decide that you're ready for it to make these changes, even if it means relocating and starting fresh somewhere else, alone with your children, with your partner, whatever it may be. The card of unity, which is the Hierophant card. If you are in a committed relationship, you may be taking it to the next level. You may be getting married uh, or you may find the one for you where you will fall in love and get married when you relocate. Uh, I, I feel like there's one person here because it wasn't strong. It was very light message that came through. It's like some of you are really into or it, like crushing, involved, loving someone that you really want a future with and you have an opportunity to move and create the life you want for yourself. But this person that you're into, either it's never gone anywhere, it's a crush, you've never had an opportunity with them or you're very hopeful that you can have an opportunity or you just started dating them and you're just like, if, if this person, if I leave, am I shooting myself in the foot? with this person um you know can can i is there an opportunity for love marriage romance partnership you know i do feel like that is something that someone here is weighing out as well traditional viewpoints or methods spiritual organizations seek out mentors and like-minded friends now like i said some of you are bringing this up in conversation with the people around you uh, definitely feel like you should be asking people that you know are more supportive of you that want the best for you rather than people that are just looking to always kind of, you know, shoot you down, right? You know your people. Six of Earth, again, with the scales, with the balance, gifts of money, time or effort, new career opportunities, receiving a loan or paying off debts. 
what did I tell you? This just really wraps it up, you know? And so the death card again, the, these, these four cards literally just wrapped up the main message that I gave you with the other deck, the card of release, which is the death card, the end of a phase or a situation, spiritual transformation. It is time to move on. Look at that. Not making it up, not making this up. Okay. So really I could have just done a reading with those four cards <laughs> but I absolutely love it when spirit says let me reinforce that main message let's 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 really give you some clarity here okay so here we go magical messages from the fairies to close this out oh that one definitely flew out you've got the power love it Use your abilities to resolve this situation. You can do it, okay? I mean, if that is not her saying, yeah, I'm on a tightrope, but I'm ready to take that leap of faith and she's got all these little butterflies. But look, you got somebody here like, oh my God, you're gonna fall, you're gonna fail, which is that person that's talking fear into your plans. And they may mean well, but when you know, you know, right, Cancer? Two more cards daughter either you are the daughter and your parent is you know trying to talk to you or communicate or like get on the same page about your plans or I even feel for some of you you really are supported and they're even going to help fund your move like you need help moving you need you need the down payment like let me help you out while you get settled um, uh, or some of you have a daughter that you are thinking of um, will I be able to still see my daughter can my daughter still come with me stay with me you know things of that nature if you are not together flower power I love it I love it some of you are really into gardening or you like going to like botanical gardens being in that energy because I'm definitely seeing someone sitting like in a bench surrounded by a beautiful garden but like and I'm seeing like a pool beautiful flowers I, I really feel like that's where you feel the most connected but I do feel some of you if you have not received flowers you love flowers. It's okay to buy them for yourself, FYI. Bring that kindness, that love, that affection in self mode, right? Bring them for yourself. Believe me when I tell you, it's you attracting more of that to yourself because someone will then start to come in, buy you flowers, notice that you always have flowers in your home and maybe replace the wilting ones with some fresh ones. I definitely feel that for you. Business venture. Boom. What did I tell you? All right. So let's move on to this flower power. I just, oh, the daughter card says the answer to your question involves your daughter. So this is a, a daughter-parent relationship where a conversation will bring clarity, conversation will, you know, be helpful in terms of making a decision. Uh, it may be, you know, talking to your daughter if you have one, right? Some of you will soon find out you will be expecting a daughter. Flower power. Spend time with flowers and flower essences to increase your personal healing power. I'm also seeing some of you may Maybe uh, working with essential oils. Um, I'm seeing like um, emotional healing type of essential oils and creating a certain recipe that has helped you and marketing it to help others. Okay, so if you've been thinking about that, that is your sign of a new business venture for you. Trust and follow through on a new business idea or career opportunity. Exactly what I just said. <laughs> so thank you guys so much. I love you for being here. Make sure you guys give it a thumbs up. Remember the sign with the most likes and the sign with the most views will get a bonus live reading with me. I will be going live on a weekly basis, uh, either with bonus readings, all signs, or, you know, whatever, whoever with the top viewed and top liked reading gets, okay? So if you would like to book a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. Playlist is here and whatever other reading I have for you here. Your July readings are coming out soon as well as your love reading for the summer, the next three months. So can't wait to see what is next for you guys. Take care. Bye.